Over the last 36 years of practice with my patients that have lumbar spinal stenosis often ask me, Doc, why do I get this pain as I'm standing long periods of time or walking or just trivial motion throughout the house and it's given me this low back pain? And really there's several different reasons, but it starts with the number one cause of lumbar spinal stenosis is osteoarthritis from an injury years ago that was left uncorrected. And not knowing that it hasn't been corrected and using poor body mechanics and postures through the years of as you're moving around the house and working and that will create chronic damage and they'll create structural and functional weaknesses and imbalances until eventually that straw will break the camel's back and all of a sudden you get this pain as you're walking or pain as you're standing long periods of time or just the normal things that you normally did throughout the house, around your yard and so forth, you get pain. So the goal of this video is to give you the three best and safest core abdominal exercises that can use for lumbar spinal stenosis. And it's based off of Stuart McGill's work. This is that will stabilize the spine, make it super stiff and prevent any micro motion of the spine as you're moving around throughout the, the day. So those micro movements means that the, bot, the spine is not being stabilized and it'll irritate the nerves and it'll create that pain of lumbar spinal stenosis. Also, what you wanna be able to do is develop that muscular endurance for your posture so you can allow yourself to be more effective with no pain throughout the day. So it's important that you talk to your healthcare provider before you start any of these type of activities or recommendations to make sure it's right for you. So you wanna stop any type of unnecessary, unsafe type of exercises that you may be doing for your core and just practice the ones that we're talking about. Well, number one, you don't want to do straight legged or bent legged type of sit-ups. Number two, you don't want to be doing any type of straight leg raised type of exercises. Both of those activate the psoas muscle which connects the lumbar spine that creates a lot of compressive forces which will throw you into pain if you have lumbar spinal stenosis. Number three is avoid the traditional type of extension exercise like Superman, because that creates a lot of unnecessary compressive forces through the spine, and especially for lumbar spinal stenosis, we don't want that at this point. So these three exercises that we're gonna talk about are the safest and the best to develop the core. And we talked about the core, it's gonna be the front part, the abdominal area, the sides, the back. It's also gonna hit the diaphragm and the pelvic floor muscles. The first one is going to be the abdominal curl up and with the abdominal curl up for myself this one I always would work first because I like to open up the back of the spine where the stenosis is is narrowed. You want to make that hole a little bit larger so by flexing the spine a little bit forward by contracting the abdominal muscles and bracing it it opens up those channels, it relieves some of the nerve pressure and allows that area to desensitize and rest. So with the abdominal curl up, you want to bend your knees. You want to brace the abdominals. You take a deep breath and you can hold that and then brace like someone's hitting you in the stomach and you're going to initially flatten out the lumbar spine. So you're pressing your back into the table. You want to lift your head up off the table. It's important to put the tongue, tongue to the roof of your mouth. It'll help support the deep cervical muscles. So you keep your head in neutral position, lift up about an inch here, compress, brace, you can reach. And we'll do a 10 count. And then relax. For the first set of these three exercises, we want to do a declining pyramid to where it's going to have six, six repetitions in the first set. Second set is going to be four repetitions. Third set is going to be two. So it's going to be declining. Total of 12. We want to brace abdominals. Flatten out the back, reach up, hold for a 10 count, head off the table, tongue to the roof of your mouth, then relax.
Brace abdominals. Lift the head up, tongue to the roof of your mouth, and relax. We move on to the next exercise in the first set, the lateral plank. The lateral plank, you want to be able to brace abdominals. You come up from this position, lift your hip off. I like to squeeze with my, get everything tight, reach up this way. And you do a 10 count. And then you're going to reverse to the other side. Do a 10 count, brace. Now, if you want to modify this, you can go ahead and bend your knees 90 degrees. Brace. Press up into that with this opposite arm. Press up. Hold for a 10 count. Relax. Or you can use another way that you can modify it or scale it is that you can lean against the wall. And you can brace for a 10 count. Relax and switch it. The next exercise is going to be the bird dog. But the bird dog is really important that you brace. You do not want to get a lot of arching in by your leg way up in the air here. You want to come right in here, extend straight out with your arm, squeeze, and extend straight out. You want to point your toe towards the ground or lead with the heel. And you want to have a neutral head. And then you count to 10, slowly, 10 count, relax, repeat. You want to do a first set, it's going to be six repetitions. Then you repeat on the other side. You press out in this direction, toe down, neutral head, bracing, not too much extension, not out to the side. Trying to get the twisting. That's why it's good to look, get in front of a mirror and perform six repetitions. So then you're going to, the next set, set two will be four repetitions of the abdominal curl ups, four repetitions of the lateral plank, four repetitions of bird dog. Then you go to your third set, which is going to be two repetitions of each one of those exercises for a total of 12 repetitions. Now, if you want to modify the bird dog, you can start off, and it, let's say it was too difficult for you at first. You're losing form too easily. You want to brace in all fours. Get in a neutral posture. The way I like to find that neutral posture is, is kind of go into an exaggerated flexion. Try to get into that extension too much. You find that sweet spot in between. Then what you want to do is brace, and all you have to do is lift your, just like you're doing bird dog, you lift, but all you're going to do is, I like to slide around on the ground like this. Ten count, switch. Ten count, and go alternate for that scaled bird dog. Now the goal of these exercises is what you want to do is you want to, Create stiffness of the spine so you prevent the micro movements and endurance, muscular endurance. So as your body, you, you're doing things throughout the day, it won't fatigue and you won't get that slippage. And it allows for better performance because you're going to be able to be stiff as you're pushing things around and less likely to get hurt with your daily activities. So it's a good idea to perform endurance muscular tests after about six weeks of doing these exercises every single day. So a great way to test muscular endurance for people who have lumbar spinal stenosis is using something like this, this type of device. They have this at the gym, or if you happen to have one at home, great. And what you want to do is start off and start off with extension first. And when you get on this, you want to make sure that the hip joint right here is above this spot right here. So you come in, you want to brace, and real important, 
that you don't want to get into a flex posture or a really arched posture. It should be neutral. Your head shouldn't be forward or back. Then you go ahead, get your, get your phone, your timer. You get set. You brace. You press go. And you stay in that position until you break form. Could be a minute. Could be two minutes. And then what you want to do is flip it over to test the front side. Get set. You want to make sure that it's not arching the back. You want to brace with the abdominals really well. You want to not keep your head forward like this. Come back and you can just cross your arms and sit in this position until you lose form. You may feel yourself starting to arch your back. As soon as you feel that, then that's done. That means you've lost broken form. And that's the end of that test. It could be 30 seconds on one side. Back could be a minute. You can see there's a difference in the strength from one side to the other. Then you want to test side to side. You get set. You brace yourself in neutral position so you're not flexed forward again. Cross your arms. Go right in this position, however long until you break form. Then you switch and do the other side. Once you finish your endurance muscle testing, write it down, take note. Then it gives you record to where you can repeat it another six weeks and monitor your progress. Do the big three exercises that we spoke about every single day. Then you can couple this information in with the next video, which is getting your walking back with lumbar spinal stenosis.